Hi, good afternoon, children. Let us come to eighth biology, fourth chapter, reproduction in animals. So, as you know that uh, the modes of reproduction, two types. One is uh, asexual mode of reproduction. The second one is sexual mode of reproduction. So, coming to the two, sexual reproduction, sexual reproduction. Already in plants, you learn in the two, seventh class itself. So, parts of uh, flower like uh, male and uh, female flower parts calyx corolla filament anther is the parts of the male flower and calyx corolla stigma style ovary these are called as the female parts of the flower so these main part is andrisium this is called as a gynesium this is the male part this is the female part calyx corolla both are common to the male and female parts of the flower they are not involved in the pollination process let us come to Sexual reproduction in uh, human beings means uh, male reproductive system. As you know that uh, a pair of testes, next uh, seminal ducts or uh, vast difference, next uh, penis. So male gametes are called as uh, sperms. This is the human uh, sperm cell structure. Next coming to that uh, female reproductive system. This is the structure of uh, female uh, reproductive system. As we know that uh, three parts, uh, these are called as a uh, uterus, uh, which gives the a cushion like structure of uh, attached to the two uterus wall of the baby next these are called as ovaries so ovaries produce the ovums after maturation through ovulation process monthly once next coming to the two oviductor fallopian tube this is the place where the fusion of the female and male gametes and it leads to the two uterus so this is called as the human egg or ovum so this is called as a nucleus and a cytoplasm surrounded by these are sperm cells. This is the this is the structure of fertilization process. Means the fusion of the ovum and the sperms. So this is the flow charts of this is the flow chart of ovum and the sperms fertilization. Male sexual organs are testes. Testes produce the sperms. Female reproductive organs are ovaries. Ovaries produce the ovums by ovulation process. Obviously both are fusion in sexual reproduction at the place of fallopian tube and finally it, it forms the zygote so zygote means a deployed condition to end condition so zygote develops into embryo embryo develops to fetus after third month pregnancy i mean that fully developed body organs the baby is called as a fetus so fetus leads to childbirth so sperm plus ovum zygote internal fertilization the fusion of the male and female gametes in place of inside of the female body is called as a Internal fertilization, example insects, snakes, lizards, birds, and mammals. Development of embryo, this is the monthly progress we learn in detail in the 10th class. So, let us coming to that what is mean by fetus when the embryo develops fully and the other parts are distinct in the third month is called as a fetus. The period from zygote to fully developed fetus is called as a pregnancy period, usually. So, after completion of the this uh, period uh, about uh, 270 to 280 days uh, is a baby is born uh, this period is called as gestation period or uh, incubation period next uh, today up to now we discussed in the previous videos uh, so today in this session we are going to explain about uh, activity number uh, three observation of resemblance uh, parents and uh, children so what is mean by resemblance the word resemblance means uh, similarities so obviously we are from our parents uh, gametes fusion so we are getting the characteristics through the genetics like our parental characteristics so how our characters are similar to our parent characters and bodily organs so for this what we are supposed to do is take our classroom and divide into four to five groups see that all the groups have at least five members and collect the photos of the parents and the members so now compare the faces of your friends with their parents now we are going to complete the fill in the table so i have taken the two boys in this uh, our uh, class for suppose uh, ramu is having the name of the organs for example nose eye eyebrows forehead chin so these organs are uh, which are similar to that uh, is uh, parents uh, like uh, some are uh, from mother and some are from the father so based on the photographs uh, i have noticed that uh, nose from mother uh, eye from the mother uh, eyebrows from the mother we are coming to the two, forehead from the father, chin from the father. Next, see, 
coming to the character resemblance from mother quickness in doing the work so he is doing the work quickness as like mother characteristics and talks like mother limitedly means very limitedly he is talking less talking and more work quick work so next coming to the father characters like height and he is height like his father next mingle with the all without showing any differences so all the members he is likes more all the classmates class members are like because he is mingle with other all the students next another example ashok so nose eye eyebrow forehead chin so coming with this ashok his nose is like father eye is like mother eyebrows father and forehead father whereas the cheeks from the mother so he is quite common active the characteristics of mother and the father characteristics is laughing and thinking and dignified so these are the characteristics and the bodily organs similarities from that parents characteristics next do you know they are given to that so test tube babies we heard that some of the test tube baby centers it is a very familiar word in nowadays because due to that some abnormalities in their sperm cell count and some female reproductive tract related problems so they are unable to give the child birth so that time they are seeking the alternative way that is called as a test tube baby centers so test tube babies means you might have heard that the word test tube babies means women oviducts are blacked or some of the cysts are formed in the their uterus so some some abnormalities in the reproductive tract they are seeking to the test tube baby centers so test tube babies means they are fertilized the eggs and sperms in the test tube after 7 days they have to inserted in the the female body so this is called as in vitro fertilization in vitro fertilization or ivf treatment in case of fertilization occurs the zygote is allowed to develop for about a week a week days it can be fuse in this the male sperm cells with the female worms in the test tubes afterwards after completion of a week then it is placed in the mother's uterus so complete development takes place in the uterus and the baby is born as like any other baby so babies born through this technique are called as test tube babies this is the term actually misleading because of the babies cannot grow in the test tube test to tubes so i mean that test tube babies means Uh, the babies are not uh, born from the two test tubes but the fusion of the male and female gametes uh, in the test tubes because of uh, their uh, abnormal conditions of uh, some uh, reproductive tract uh, related uh, disorders thank you children next uh, we are going to discuss about uh, external fertilization like fishes and frogs and uh, frog life cycle frog life cycle and uh, frog project work we are going to do next uh, video thank you children thank you very much